What's up guys, it's me, Jeremy. While there's tons of guides for how to improve your play as an individual, no one ever really talks about how to improve your play as a team, improving your teamwork and synergy, as well as other things. Let's get started. Now, it's important to note that these things are only worth doing if you have a consistent team that you expect to play with for a reasonable duration. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to develop your teamwork apart from using voice communication is establish a primary shot caller. The shot caller will be the one who makes the final decision on team plays. It doesn't mean that other players can't or won't shot call, but it's important to have someone have the final say so that when you need to be decisive and act fast, you're able to do that. You should have it be the best or the most dedicated as well as the most talkative player on your team, as they will have to be constantly shot calling and looking for plays. And when it comes to calls, you really need to make sure that everyone listens. Even if you think the call is bad, you just have to listen anyways, as it is miles better for 5 people to listen to a bad call than for 4 or 3 people to listen to a bad call. And that scenario often causes a lot of confusion as well in your team play, as a call might be decent, but someone thinks it's bad, and so they don't listen to the call, and then the play ends up failing. And then the one who didn't listen to the call in the first place blames the fact that the call was bad, when in reality the call might have been pretty good, but it was the fact that the player didn't listen that automatically makes the call bad. Any call that is not listened to is a bad call no matter what. But that's not to say that you should follow bad calls blindly, but perhaps discuss them with your team if you have time, depending on whether or not the call is bad. And throughout your communications, it's important to communicate efficiently. It's easy to get sidetracked on random topics when playing with your buddies, but if you're trying really hard, keeping the conversation specifically to just the game will help out a lot. And lastly, for communications, you're going to want to find a way to record your voice chat as well as your replays and watch them together. Pretty much all voice communication software can record the conversations with a built-in option or with the help of an additional program, so just do some Google searching to find it. And when you watch your replays with your shot calls, you can look back at them, analyze key situations, especially where you got outplayed as a team, why the play didn't work out, what you should have done instead, and what you can do to improve on the situation for the next time, and of course, take some notes. In addition, you want to create some strategies for your team. Using the champions that your teammates are experienced with, design team compositions, and then practice playing to the strengths of those respective compositions. You want to write down all of the champions your teammates can play well, and then use that to build at least two or three viable comps with synergy amongst the champions. I don't want to go too much into how to build team comps as I've already made a video for that which I will link in the outro, but just make sure that you understand how those comps play, their strengths and weaknesses, and then you can jump into games and work on playing the team comps properly. But you do need to make sure that you change your playstyle based on the team comps you play, and also make sure that every individual player understands their respective role in your team composition. In addition to team compositions, you also want to design team strategies. And when doing that, you need to play to the strengths of the players as well as the strengths of your team composition. For example, if you have strong laners, you could perhaps try to use that to make a 4 minute jungle invade strategy that involves extreme early aggression from every player on the map in an attempt to kill the opponent's jungler early. Or if your players might be better at team fighting, you can play a defensive style that involves your jungler warding every single lane early on and constantly tracking but not fighting the opponent's jungler with a scrying orb or through good ward coverage. It's things like that, there's a whole realm of possibilities, but to design these kinds of strategies, you just need to look at what your players are good at doing and what your team composition is good at, and then use the strengths from both together to make plays. Other than that, there isn't that much that specifically applies to team play only. Of course, having your team improve their individual play through all of the other strategies and stuff that I've gone over before will help you out a ton as well, but this video is mostly focused on working for your synergy as a team, not your individual play. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on how to improve as a team. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the screen right now, or stay connected at facebook.com slash gamingcurios. Drop a like, share this video, and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.